to be a peaceful and restful place for anyone needing time for reflection and prayer. So it has been a continuous struggle, has been a continuous work, but with your support and help and the blessing and the grace of God and many parishioners that have very, very kindly donated great amounts of money sometimes, it's possible that we can enjoy this, but most important, our kids. Our children will grow receiving this from you, receiving this from God, because it's a, it's a gift from God. The reflective mood was replaced by new excitement the next day when the church's long-awaited cross arrived. It took the fabrication shop co-owned by one of our parishioners many months to weld and shape the large cross. It is made with copper and stainless steel and weighs 700 pounds. So, so Uh, the reason we chose to make it out of copper is obviously because copper has been used on uh, domes for many years. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, there's nothing like this ever done before. Now it was no longer just steel and copper, but a symbol of faith. It was the Sunday of the elevation of the cross. And fittingly, the heavy cross was elevated more than 100 feet in the air. As parishioners looked on in amazement, the cross was bolted to the dome of the church, and the choir lifted up its voice in songs of praise. I hope the church remains here for another 100 years till the end of time. I hope my children can come here, my great-grandchildren, uh, I want to get married here. You know, this is my church and uh, I want to be part of it in the future. A 17-year journey of faith, hope, tireless work and love reached the high point. Now it is up to the generations to come to stay focused on the cross and to proclaim its saving message to the people of Houston and to the world.